here. now to meet up with an old friend of mine um, they had posted a GoFundMe account for his girlfriend's mom she lived in one of the most impacted neighborhoods and uh, she lost not only her apartment her whole building was condemned of course but she also lost her car and from what I understand she was uh, running a, a small business from inside her apartment so she's um, she's definitely one that we're gonna want to take care of uh, so far we've raised three hundred dollars we hope there will be more soon but uh, we're trying to set up something electronic because a majority of these are coming by snail mail or old-fashioned way and uh, we're trying to figure out how to make that a little bit more user-friendly. So uh, you said it's your girlfriend's mom? Yeah. What neighborhood was she in? She was on Village Street Drive oh, off of Creekwood Avenue Yeah, we went down there. and the street over is pretty much the one that got level hopefully the fema you know kicks in and stuff and our other daughters raised some money for too so well thank you so much yeah man um if you Check in on an old friend here. <laughs> Hi, little friend. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> so, what was your experience this storm? Well, obviously, it wasn't as exciting as yours. Mm. So. Uh, actually, I, I was woke up because of the Ohio County one, because my son, everybody's like, you better check out Ohio County, it's going through. 
So I, I tracked that one, and then once they were safe, I thought it was good. And then I realized there's, a, there's another one coming. There's another one, and it's way worse, and it's coming straight for you. I checked on Tara. Um, have you heard from everybody else? Actually, Tara's in town. Uh, everybody else is good. Every uh, Most other people weren't in the area. It's really Nina was the closest one to the line. Uh, she, uh, I have some people at work that were really close and their houses were damaged, but they were okay. I know a lot of people have reached out to me and I've responded to some people, you know, I'm not the best at doing all that. And we did put a video out, so if you haven't seen it, I put it up on a Friday, which was a little weird for us, but our internet's been down and it just came up and I figured I could just go ahead and post it. Yeah, I, after looking at the path, I knew Nina was really close. And, uh, Part of my job is environmental protection, the flow of the water, drinking water and the wastewater. So I've been going ever since. I have to report to the state. And I'm actually kind of halfway on a break right now. So Nina says she's going to stop in. And, and you know, I was going to go to Nina's house, but you know, I, I, yeah. It's still, it's, we have to take a really messed up route to get there. Not all the roads are open yet. And it's kind of, it's easier to just to just come out and meet people than to try to explain how to get to our house right now. Everybody on the channel is good, and uh, we're you know we're we got lucky. To me, I'm like I'm okay. Why does anybody care about me? But I guess I guess uh, more people care than I realize. So thank you. A lot more. A lot more. When we got to Saturday, it had already been a week, so we actually had a bunch of mail to pick up. Uh-oh. We had a yellow tag telling us that we had a large box to pick up, and that box ended up containing care packages for little boys, little girls, parents. There were wipes, hygienic items, baby blankets. Obviously, somebody had put a lot of effort into these. Both packages had coloring books, crayons, activities, toys, hygienic items even socks and gloves. We had to open each individual package to see what was inside so that we could say what was inside to donate it and honestly I'm really glad we did. These were all sealed up individually. We opened one each to see what was in there and it was amazing to see the time and care that somebody put into these. Cards and letters that we pulled out of the mail totaled $850 in personal checks. Our Venmo direct deposits, $285. In total, in 48 hours, we've taken in almost $1,200 in donations. And we know just where to put it. Do you all have a safe place to stay right now? Um, yeah. Thank God I have my brother. He lived um, five minutes here. And this day when everything happened, he called me, everything okay? I said, no, everything collapsed. And, yeah. and, and he come and I can take my kid with me and go something crazy. The people from this is um, double. Yeah. So everything. Oh and the people screaming help and something yeah, we so were, sad. 